You can do something really nice with memory cues because you can also store a loop in memory. Meaning that if you play the track on, for example, the performance mode or on a CJ, for example, that that loop is automatically activated. You can do this, for example, in the outro of a song. So the last part of the song, the last eight beat, for example, gets repeated. So you are able to mix out the track into another track. So then you know for sure that the track will never end until you have finished your mix. To do that, I click here on four and there may be another digit over here. I click on that and now you'll see it activates a four beat loop. I can shorten this loop by clicking on the left here and then it makes it a two beat loop, a one beat loop, a half beat loop, a quarter beat loop and I can lengthen the loop by clicking to the right. But this is still not stored in memory. It is just a loop that I've set for this moment. So I click on memory again and now you'll see it adds the time but it also has a loop icon over here. I can also give this loop a name, loopy. Now this loop is activated. I can deactivate it by clicking on this number again. And when I go back into the song and starts playing, nothing happens. Why is that? Because I need to activate that explicitly. And how can I activate that? Let's stop the track for a minute. I can activate that by clicking on this loop icon. Then this loop icon becomes red. And I know they've chosen a really stupid color because orange and red are really close and it's really hard to see. Is it red or is it orange? Because when I go back now and I play, the loop is automatically activated. But if that doesn't happen, which could be the case, then you need to go to this menu over here, click on that menu and enable active loop playback and it needs to be set to on because if it's set to off, it will just ignore this active loop. And if you want to remove it, you do it the same way as you did with memory cues. I can click on this X over here. Now I've set an automatic loop of four beats. But you don't necessarily have to do that. You can also set a manual loop. And there is where this button comes in because now I can set it to manual. And when I play the track, I can now set a manual loop by clicking on in and clicking on out. And you can cancel or exit the loop by clicking on exit. If you want to activate the same loop again, you click on reloop. Regretfully, Pioneer has some problems lately. I'll talk about that in this video over here. Subscribe to my free DJ Tips newsletter. As a thank you, I will throw in a free ebook with information on how to get a foot in the door, equipment and the necessary skills to learn. The link is in the description.